Good day, Prepper people. This is Red Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. How you guys doing this morning? Had to go in for some testing and stuff this morning and got to figure out what's going on uh, nerve-wise. It's going to happen, guys. Putting one foot in front of the other. Um, checking off stuff off the list. Uh, could be a little disheartening, but I'm going to try to be as positive as possible. And... Um, like I said in the fast, so you know, you know, so I don't know what's happening. So I'm not just not going to let it bother me. And then when I know, I'll just deal with it. Because life's not over with. And I'm not done. So anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to get on here earlier. <clears throat> it's good afternoon, good evening, maybe some places. But um, I wanted to eat some pods. And uh, I couldn't get on here earlier. Like I said, uh, testing and other stuff. So anyway, you guys, I'll give you a little quick. You can see these. So, uh, got three different peppers from three different growers. So I have uh, a couple of really nice pods here. Um, a couple of them I've never had before. So. Um, this first one is from Randy Keaton, Keatley Farms. This is, I'm pretty sure by his description, this is a Trinidad perfume. So check this out. Nice wall on this. Not a very big pepper, but nice pepper. Then I have from James J. Jarnus. King James, whatever you guys want to call him, I've got this, uh, and it's still good because I had it in my Tupperware I got from Keith Nichols, um, Fridge Smart Tupperware. If you get fresh pods, I recommend you get some Fridge Smart Tupperware. It keeps them a long time. Anyway, this is from James J, and this is a yellow Maruga Scorpion. Nice, oily, I don't know if you guys can see that nice beautiful beautiful pod guys great 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 uh, color and shape of that thing look at this guys it's a beautiful pod well done James J and the last one is a peach no clue from Keith Nichols Andrews pepper patch said he wasn't sure what it was guy grows a lot of peppers he just he said no clue LOL. Anyway, he might get back to me and correct it. He might have figured this out, but this is a beautiful peach pod here. I did cut it open. There was a couple of black seeds in it that I took out of it. Um, actually got one right there that I missed. I'm going to try to get those out of there because I don't want to eat black seeds. You know what I mean, guys? So, yeah, let me get that out of there. And then we'll go from there all right but anyway I'm gonna eat this peach no clue first Keith wasn't sure the list I got he said peach he said no didn't he say peach he said no clue because I had a list of peppers that I got from him left to right and this one said no clue if you know what it is Keith if you figured it out let me know but anyway Grizzly heat. Um, it's time to eat some pods, guys. It's what I need. I need a good burn. So this is a peach no clue from Keith Nichols, Andrew's Pepper Patch. A little sweet. Now comes the bitter and the floral. Floral. Ooh. I'm embracing the floral, guys. You guys know, but florals. The best way I could describe floral is like, like eating a flower or spraying to me, if 
you've got a different opinion on it, this is mine. You ever eat something and you like you put lotion on or you know perfumey almost like getting a little bit of perfume in your mouth that's floral i don't really know how you embrace that but i'm trying i'm getting better at it should i say floral all right next one is uh from randy keaton keatley farms it's a trinidad perfume The name has me thinking it could be floral. I hope I'm wrong. Anyway, beautiful pod. Crunchy too. Watch this. Mmm, that's sweet. And that's like biting a bell, biting into a bell pepper. I didn't get any floral on that at all. That was a great tasting pod. A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat from the first one. Neither one of them was overbearing. That, I should have saved the seed from that. That was a phenomenal. I got another one. It's in two. Got another one of those. Trinidad Perfume. That's a delicious pod. I think I got another one. I hope I do. If not, it is what it is. Um really good that was delicious the last one from james j yellow maruga we know these are hot guys this one's super oily yeah still in great shape thank you jarnas james j the king yellow maruga Wow, not bitter, not floral. There's a little bit of bitterness there at the end. That's probably the placenta and the seeds. That was a really good pepper. Yellow Maruga Scorpion from uh, James J. That was good. Heat wise, Scorpion is definitely the hottest. It's still growing in my mouth. Probably about four. Yeah, I'm at a, probably about a four. Definitely the Scorpion is the hottest. Then that uh, Peach No Namer from Keith Nichols. Uh, the Trinidad Perfume probably had the least amount of heat. There's that Scorpion, it's ramping up. Yeah, it's a good four or five. Got a good sides of the tongue mouth burn, especially on this side, it's more on this side. Not down the throat or anything, but down that side of my tongue, and then my, a little bit on my gums. Those were some good pods, that first one Definitely floral right from the beginning, um, but not horribly tasting as far as in general. Um, not really bitter. A little bit of sweet right at the beginning, but then immediately floral. That turned out pure perfume was like a bell pepper. Um, <clears throat> biting into it, very sweet. Um, really nice pod, really nice pod, grown by uh, Randy Keaton, Keeley Farms. It's a great guy. Sent me a few pods. Got some more from him. Um, and that yellow maruga. That was delicious. I have an, I do have another one of those. I will be saving a seed or two of those. Because that was a delicious. Completely delicious pod. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up 10 minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Um, don't think I've got anything going on tomorrow, so I should be back. Maybe eat some pods, more pods. I do have stuff to review. I've got, I've got a sauce that I need to review from uh, Inked Gardener. Um, I've got to review this sauce. I've had it for a couple of days and pulled my wood and I haven't yet. So probably tomorrow I'll review that sauce and I need some pods. So maybe I'll do a sauce gusher. I don't know. I want to taste the sauce first before I do a gusher with it. Just me. That's how, that's how I roll. Jarnus will tell me different. He'll tell me to put round one or something in it. Grizzly Reaper or Crimson Fury or something in it. That's how he rolls. The beast guys. Thanks for that Maruga Scorpion. It's good heat. Four or five, definitely. Good pod. Very tasty. Good job, James. Good job, Randy. And uh, Keith, still got plenty more peppers from you to eat. That's coming, brother. Thank you guys. I love every single one of you. Um, stay positive. Treat each other as you want to be treated. Look, I got stuff going on, but I'm going to be trying to be as positive as possible. I'm telling you guys, life is rough. You will have troubles. Um, it doesn't mean you want to have troubles. It's how we deal with them. Um, if we think positive, it's easier to deal with stuff. So just remember that. Try to do that as much as possible. And um, be nice to one another. Just treat people good. It's how we're supposed to treat people. We're supposed to be kind. I'm speaking to myself. Okay. Love every single one of you. And as always, stay spicy, pepper people.